What is up? Wonderful world of YouTube, Mariachi, Play Mariachi, what's up everybody? So, another little update, um, back to full health, so I'm no longer dying of a flu or bronchitis or some other kind of horrible shit. Uh, didn't get the coronavirus, so I'm good. But yeah, it's just a little update to the channel. The, uh, as you can see, I've cleaned up the, uh, remains of all of the, uh, destruction that was... I need to get a haircut. This is... This is not good. So, uh, yeah, guys, this is just the office now. I uh, don't have shelves. I took them down so they wouldn't get damaged or messed up. I'm actually going to paint the uh, office slash podcast studio now. So we're going to paint this wall over here. I don't know what you guys think about it. It looks like purple shit. But, um, yeah, we're going to do it like a Joker purple. Because other than Batman, Joker is one of my favorite characters. And it also happens to match my... Uh, Fraternity colors, Sigma Lambda Beta. What's up? Is that, is that upside down, backwards? Ah, whatever. I'll idiot. I'll idiot. I'll idiot. I'll edit it later. Um, we're gonna paint this wall too. That looks like another purple shit stain. But uh, yeah. So this is the uh, weekly update. And actually, I'm shooting this on my phone again because I don't really know where to look. Is it over here? Is it over there? Is it both ways? I don't really know. Um, but you can see here. That red pipe is where they bypassed the water line that busted. And you can see that they're still blue. And uh, that blue is making me nervous as fuck right now because it could go at any moment. It's like having a really pissed off fucking ex-girlfriend. It's, it's scaring the shit out of me. But uh, that travels through the house and I have the uh, lines for the washer dryer and the drainage and all the jet. <sighs> it's gonna be a nightmare. I did get a check from insurance, but uh, it's barely gonna cover the cost of restoring this place, so. Batman. So yeah, guys, just wanna do a quick little update, and we're gonna move on to the next part of this video. When the house got flooded last week, the week before last, or whenever the fuck it was, there was a little bit of damage to my guitars. So I figured I'd take this opportunity, since I can't really do anything in here, and there's a big old echo, like the echo room. Um, I'm going to talk about damage to your guitars and what to look for, right? So this is also kind of an informative channel. And when you have a classical guitar, when you have a very high-end classical guitar, it's expensive as fuck. Uh, even little minor things that warp the guitar, too much humidity, not enough humidity, um, damage, dings, dents, um, all that shit. Uh, so the next part of this video, I'm going to go pull the other camera. It's actually not the cell phone camera, and I'm going to just kind of go through things to look out for. You know, if you notice that your guitar isn't tuning correctly, if you're having trouble playing it, if you notice some warping, we're going to we're gonna talk about all that shit. But uh, America, America, or just America. Um, so yeah, guys, let's get on with that shit. All right, so we're here back with the guitar. Um, this is one of the instruments that was in the room. Uh, when uh, the water came in through right over here from the water heater, flooded everything. And what I noticed about the guitar the next day when I had a chance to kind of just, you know, get my shit together, you know, is that uh, the top here has a little bit of a wave to it now. So let's see if we can see what I'm talking about. So usually when you see a guitar, turn my face, there's a the top, right? And then as you go to the bridge where all the pressure is, I don't know if you can see, you know, what I'm talking about, but up here is a little more higher up than over here, which is a little more pressed in. That's because the pressure is going like this, and the wood, you know, theoretically, this is what I'm thinking, I could be wrong, I don't build these things, I just play them and talk about them, is the wood took on a lot of water moisture. Didn't have direct contact with the water. Actually, this one did. When I looked at the case, the case was kind of soaking wet, so the water may not have seeped all the way through, but there's a lot of moisture in there. And I live in Arizona, so it's not, it's a very dry climate. It can be hot and then cold, especially during the winter time right now. And so when you have a lot of water moisture get into a very delicate spruce and um, cypress classical flamenco guitar like this one is, you're gonna have them problems and I can just kind of see eyeballing it that that's what's been going on. You see that this is kind of warping right now. 
Now, I've been kind of letting it dry out a little bit, but what that's gonna mean, scoot back a little bit, <clears throat> what that's gonna mean is that as the wood dries from having all that extra moisture, it didn't have enough time to adjust, right? And then it's gonna dry rapidly. So, what I noticed is that even though in the first position all the strings are tuned, it doesn't have quite the same, you know, it still has that vibrant sound. It has volume, but it's like dead here, right? So I don't know if, um, if the braces are gonna be warped. That's one possibility, because the braces are what are taking on all the, the, the pressure and the structural integrity of the guitar, right? So the braces could have warped a little bit. They're very thin and they're made of spruce and uh, the top is solid spruce. So it's very possible that the braces, I can feel the braces here. I can't quite feel them here, right? So the, the, the guitar is supposed to fan like, uh, like that, right? The braces fan out. So if these are going like this or stretching and shit like that, it's one thing to look for, right? in your guitars, if you leave them dry or if you over humidify them, look at the top. The top should have just a nice even curve throughout the entire top. What's gonna happen? Well, the sound is gonna deaden a little bit. Uh, I'm not doing anything special. I'm not trying to fake this shit. Let's see what I can see. Can you see right here? Yeah. Feels like it feels like how you would think it would feel and sound if it got a shit ton of water in it, right? Like the basses. Yeah, it's not good. There's a little more buzz. I don't know if that's the fret and the neck coming in a little bit, going this way, or if that's actually buzz that's happening inside the guitar. I'm not gonna know until I, you know, have it checked out. the fretboard so if you're here yeah I hear I hear a little buzz over here somewhere stuff in here that needs to be repaired, if seams have opened up, if the measurements are off, if it needs to be rehumidified, you know, that's, that's, there's some magic there that I have no real working knowledge of. All I know, it don't sound right, right? So that's one thing, the bridge, the neck, uh, the bridge and the neck angle. So as you can see here, sometimes you can have a bridge and a neck that are intentionally off center like a, a raised bridge, right? So you can have a bridge that's kind of up, not flat with the surface like this, all the way here. If this angle is messed up by a millimeter, if it's off by a millimeter, it will not tune. It just will not tune. You'll be either flat half a step or sharp half a step or even worse. And it just will not tune, right? Uh, the frets look nice and beefy and healthy, so I don't think I would need a refret, but maybe take a look at the angle, you know, who knows? Who knows what it's gonna need? I don't know. But when you look here and you start talking about octaves, right? And, uh, and fifths and sevenths, that's not a perfect fit. And again, my guitar is tuned, all the strings are in tune. Problem has to get fixed. 
uh, you can't play at any level if the instrument won't tune. And if the instrument has damaged, expanded too quickly, dried out, you know, if there's problems, if there's neck angle issues, all kinds of shit can go wrong with a very uh, delicate classical guitar. <clears throat> so that's stuff to look out for, guys. The top, right? Make sure the top is nice and even. You don't want it bowing out here and then kind of in here or out here. And you don't want waves. You don't want to be able to feel the, the braces here. You want it to have like a nice domed, you know, feel to the surface. And, you know, it's going to create dead zones. You, you hear the difference? Right? It's a problem. I don't know how to fix it or if it can be fixed, but hopefully, uh, you know, the, the guitar uh, gods will shine upon this thing once again. There's a couple of seams here that I can see now. And so it's just going to need to be worked and, uh, you know, gone through. And, and hopefully it'll be able to sound great again. It even could be something as simple as taking it to a different climate, letting it soak up the water, maybe adjust some things and, you know, who knows? I don't know. I'm not a guitar builder, so. But, uh, yeah. So again, neck angle, service top. I'm gonna go ahead and shut up because I know you guys don't like to hear me talk. So yeah, guys, uh, what do you guys think about uh, damage to your instruments? You know, you have frets, you know, the frets can get uh, rusted out sometimes if there's too much humidity. The neck can, can shrink if there's too little humidity. I mean, these damn things are so delicate, you know, and then just to have a bunch of water, you know, spray into your, a room in the middle of Arizona winter when it's dry and then it gets cold and then it gets hot, you know. Yeah, it's, it's barely playable. So, uh, yeah, guys, hopefully uh, next time you see the guitar, It'll be coming back from the, you know, Candela's shop and it'll be brand spanking new and good as new and we'll be able to play it and go forward. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel and uh, listening to my annoying voice. And uh, yeah, my office is still fucked up. I got to fix it. I got to get a contractor in here and start working on it. And I got to pray that uh, we don't get a bunch of awas in, uh, back in the house. As in, awas way your fucking house is flooding with water. Uh, let's not do that again. And thanks for watching, subscribing, consider subscribing to the channel, and uh, checking out the links below, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.